Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's Syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for anybody who is on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside of the autism community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about. But before I dive into this evening's topic, I have a few things to mention. Number one, please be sure to click up here in the upper right-hand corner. This is a video podcast by Jennifer O'Toole, and it's called Being Stuck in the Moment. And the name of the series is called um, Speaking Geek. And I also would like to recommend that you check out my written blogs on WordPress.com, which are pr uh, practical application and scholarly. You can find these under Hello World 240.wordpress.com. That's Hello World 240.wordpress.com. And what I would like to do now is uh, do a, two, a combination of things. Number one, uh, share my experiences of living on the spectrum. And number two, also, uh, talking about uh, tips and advice for those of you that are friends of friends who, who have relationships with people that are on the autism spectrum and also uh, talk to family members of these friends and uh, people that are basically related or any type of relationship, whether you're a spouse, whatever. And I wanted to, first of all, start off by mentioning that I go to Wrong Planet, which is a forum website for people with Asperger's to go and uh, dump off on all of uh, our frustrations on the nuances of life that we don't understand. And one of the message boards that I love to go to is the social skills and making friends. And one of the threads that I read was about uh, how neurotypicals tend to overreact when they see us doing something that they don't quite understand. So, and that uh, fired a memory for me um, back in 2008. So back then I was close friends with another individual with uh, NLD or nonverbal learning disorder. And they themselves are somewhere on the autistic spectrum. And I happened to attend a few events with this friend of another friend of theirs that they went to high school with because they were uh, celebrating their birthday all month long. And the first one was going out to eat and the other one was going to a dinner party. And it was during this time that I uh, thought that they liked me and I thought that they were interested because we appeared to get along and I appeared to be seen as the life of the party and all that jazz. Well, about a month later, I, f I had seen a posting uh, on Wrong Planet by my former friend who stated that uh, this other friend had a problem with me and they were mad that my friend was bringing me to their things and they made a big deal about it and said that, well, you've brought this person to two things and I don't really like them. And I called up my friend on the phone and I wanted to know what was going on. And it turns out that they didn't like me because uh, I was too bubbly or too annoying and that uh, I tended to uh, dominate the conversation and that uh, I thought I was all that and uh, I, I wanted to be the center of attention. And other people at the party had also been complaining because I sat down in somebody's chair of another guest who had gotten up to get something to drink and they stigmatized me for that and they made me out to be this monster. And what I wanted to mention is that for those of you that are friends of friends and family members and are related to this person in some way or another that of this friend, stop it. Because you need to understand that uh, the person with autism processes information a little bit differently than you do. We have trouble understanding uh, social cues and facial expressions. And if we're not told uh, that we can't do something, then um, we automatically uh, do things that uh, get other people angry. 
And that's because our brains are neurologically wired differently than yours. And I also wanted to mention that uh, it's not okay to be nice to this person when you don't like them in the first place. And it's also not acceptable to invite somebody to your house and then turn around and pick them apart behind their backs when uh, you're the one that invited them in the first place and you're the one that agreed to get together with them instead of uh, going and pulling this person to the side and letting them know that, you know what, I really understand that you want to meet some new friends. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to work out for us to be friends because I, I just don't think we are a good fit for each other. Or uh, in my case of me uh, sitting down and going to uh, a party like that, uh, they could have called me up on the phone and they could have said that, uh, oh, Maya, that uh, guest was not feeling very well and they already had that chair. Uh, I don't know what you were thinking, but um, I kind of feel that was inappropriate. Uh, please don't do that again. Or, you know, we love having you, but uh, uh, we would appreciate it if you gave other people a chance to talk. Instead, uh, you're throwing uh, somebody or the baby out with the bathwater, and that's not good and that's not healthy. Uh, without you, that person on the spectrum isn't going to grow and gain more learning experiences. Like in my case, again, uh, I have a tendency to carry on and go into details and monopolize the conversation and that turns people off. But putting on a uh, front and putting on a fake smile and acting like everything is okay in front of the person with autism, see, they're not going to recognize uh, the uh, fake emotions. They're going to see the person smiling and think that you like them. And that's always difficult. So anyway, I'm out of time. If you like what I'm doing, uh, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and also be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to look for more uh, video vlogs every Monday and be sure to comment below and share this with uh, your communities and check me out on social media. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.